M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the ATS20 and 20 Plus. You are going to like this firmware. Big shout to Joshante. All the software links instructions will be in the description of this video. Right now, I've just turned it on. I'm just going to flick through. I have loaded a video loading the firmware, and all you need is a, a USB, a mini USB cable, and you don't use the USB charging cable. You use this one here, okay? Above the word USB download. You just plug it into that and turn it on. And you do need to make sure that you've got your CH340 USB driver. So when it you look in your COM ports, just make sure that's there. If it's not showing, then you're going to have to get that installed. Because sometimes Windows 11 can be a bit glitchy on that, but you'll get there. So the, the band conditions right now aren't actually busy. But I'll quickly show you the way this ticks. So... It, you have to re sort of think it because the buttons become select selections and the encoder becomes changing those selections. For example, right now, we're just tuning there. You can see the small step. So if I press the step button now, we just change the step size. We'll do it again. Let's do one, one, kilo, one kilohertz, right? Step and then we'll watch what happens. So now we'll, hopefully later on the conditions will pick up. It's a long wire, 49 to 1 ballon that we're using at the moment. So if you want to change mode, for example, you would press mode. And then look, that's gone to USB. So that's the same. We press band. Now, see what happens there. So now we press the band and we're actually going through the different bands. And um, there may be some extra band selections now. So you can see what this 40, 10,000, 11. And look, eventually we went to broadcast radio. And look, I press the encoder and it's starting to tune. It tunes in the direction that we last tuned at. Till it finds something. Let's just press that for now. There you go. And again, the step works for that as well. I did find out about this really, really fantastic, lovely story of a mother and son. And See that? So that's that, and then we'll keep doing the band. Press band again. Mode. Let's do volume. Volume. Oh my god, what's all that? I press this band low button, look at all this. Why we need to read the manual? Bloody hell. A lot of work's been put into this. Right, there's volume. Volume up. Ah, volume up. You get another little number there. Let's try AGC. Oh, it shuts the screen down. Let's hold it. We did mode bandwidth. Nice and easy on the bandwidth. I'm changing things with the encoder. I just think this is brilliant. And there are other firmwares, but I'll stick with this for a few weeks. We need to know what this is. Look, ATT, and then how do we change it? ATT. There's more menus. Kilohertz CPU 100 SSM BFO. I get it. So you push that one and you can cycle different menus. Look, you've got menu one page, two, three, and then back to one. How do we change one? We press. Oh, look, we press. 
Do that. Give me the AUT, whatever that is. SM, what's that? So, you know, like I said, we need to read the instruction manual. If we just press and hold band. I'm trying to get out of this menu. Oh, there you are. Ah, there's someone there. We hold, can we scan? I'm holding. I hold down at the volume. Oh look, if you hold down the band, it, it goes through the bands. Did you see there was CB there? It ends up at um, broadcast. Right, we are going to end the video. Right, well it looks like it's worked and thanks if you want, I'm going to attach this to the install video that I made and uh, thanks for watching and more to learn about this, 7 free.